our first four emerging bright sparks tonight have taken a blank canvas and painted a whole new world on it with their burning ambitions. From a carryman who'd buy and sell you to a dishy duo from Cork, the emerging entrepreneurs are a force to be reckoned with. Let the games begin. Demonware's network software allows enthusiasts to play computer games online. Dylan Collins' company is fast becoming the gaming internet, and this year will facilitate more than 200 million gaming sessions. My role models would probably be, I don't know, something like uh, Wiley e. Coyote and, and, and Tom, Tom and Jerry, and just in terms of their utter um, refusal to lie down and die. Attempting to create something out of nothing, especially when the odds are really stacked against you. And the more people I have telling me I can't do something, the more driven I tend to be to go out and do it. There's nothing more gratifying than turning around to a whole bunch of people who told you you couldn't do it and saying, well, you know, we've done it, there it is, you know, what you have to say now. It, it, it's, it's awful, my ego is going to be monstrous by the end of all this. Tralee is home to Alan Scroop's online auction company, Freeflow. He takes end-of-line stock from the tech sector and sells it to the highest bidder turning leftovers into money spinners for some of the largest multinationals in the world. I suppose in my book, an entrepreneur is somebody who gets bored easily, who in turn is very interested, I suppose, in different things, project-driven as opposed to more day-to-day. -day. So in my book, it's all about kind of moving on to different things and having fun as I'm doing it. I think the best barometer for me of success is the, the year-end results. So be it an award at somebody else, it's great to be recognised, I suppose, by your peers. But uh, I still think myself, you know, if I didn't get the award, I'd still be doing what I'm doing tomorrow morning. West Cork duo Cullen Allen and Colm O'Sullivan are the team behind quality convenience food label Cully and Sully. Taking their inspiration from the food capital of the South, they believe that good food can be fast food too. Running a business, more than anything else, is about solving problems. That's what you've got to do. You've kind of got to find a way out of a situation because... Things come up, it never ends. Grey hair. Talk to people with grey hair. Talk to people who've been there, who've done that. Every single business goes through the exact same stages of evolution. We all go through the same thing. And there are plenty of people out there who've made all the mistakes. Somebody said to us there a good while ago, you know, you, you start making money when you, when you stop making mistakes. Assidua provide software consultancy services that make automated processes more efficient. And having survived the tech boom and bust, Steve Rankin's company has grown almost 400% in the last four years, doubling its workforce to 90. Well, what makes it for me is, is, is not to be satisfied to be run of the mill, you know. If something's easy, you're not doing the best that you can, you know. It's, uh, if, it's, if it's not a challenge every day, you're not doing enough. To be nominated at all, it was a surprise to me. It was a, a complete shock to be in the final. I wouldn't mind winning, you know, that'd be, uh, that'd be a bit of crack, but uh, uh, I've, uh, I think I've achieved more than I ever, the wildest dreams being in the final, and, uh, but to, to win or win the category would be, yeah, that would be out of this world. Always connected and always on. The first four emerging nominees there. Time for a window on the world of our next quartet. With a head for the dizzying heights, they have the power to turn you on with the touch of a button. Christopher Foley's vision was to bring Danish Aliwood windows to Ireland. Dansk design and install window systems in single builds or large developments. Their landmark projects include Smithfield Tower and Spencer Dock in Dublin. You don't get up in the morning trying to, defi trying to say, well, now I'm going to be an entrepreneur. Uh, you get up in the morning to go to work. It turns out that what you're doing is chasing achievement in a business sense. You know, people set out to make a difference, to make things happen. You know, whether you're a charity worker or a business person or you know, or a girl guide leader or whatever. You set out to do something and you carry others with you. It's really having fun with your life and using whatever gifts you have and just go for it, you know. Donegal native Seamus McMenamin has proven he has a head for heights. 
Mantis are the only producer of self-erecting cranes in Ireland and they've just launched the first crane designed and built by them in the North West. I enjoy challenges and I thrive in challenges. I go for stuff that no one else can do. Have done, probably always will do. We're a small company uh, based in Donegal and I didn't expect that we would get anywhere near the recognition that we have got for what we do. The one piece of advice I got like way back, that's a long, long time ago, and that was that, that if there's something there that you're thinking of doing, it's, it's better to try, should you fail, it's not try at all. And uh, I've always stuck to that. Smart homes manufacture and install at construction stage the cables that bring all the modern technological conveniences to homes. Sean Gallagher's clients can access TV, telephone, internet, and even mood lighting from one central panel. I spent six years working within the field of enterprise development and I met people who have grown businesses from conceptual stages, grown them to huge operations, uh, managed to grow beyond the domestic market and launch them internationally. These guys have done it and they've done it in stages. Nobody ever started a big company, everybody starts a small company and the longest journeys uh, are all done one step at a time. Having turned their backs on successful corporate careers, Sandra Lawler and Alda McDonough broke the mould with a brand new business model. Alternatives provides corporate clients with access to a flexible marketing talent pool. I think anybody can be an entrepreneur. It sounds so big and prestigious and we don't even think of ourselves sometimes as entrepreneurs. But yes, I think anybody can be. Um, it's just there's a little formula, I suppose, of drive and action. Um, that makes the difference between an idea and actually a business that exists. I'd love for the company's sake for us to win. The initial reaction was, well, you know, it'd be great just to get through to interview stage. Then we got through to interview stage and it was, well, God, it'd be great to get into the finals. Then we heard we were in the finals. That was fantastic. Great celebrating in the office. But now that we're here, yeah, I'd love to win. partnership with mass market appeal there. Now to announce the winner of the emerging category, please welcome to the stage the Executive Director of Enterprise Ireland, Pat Marr. Growing our, our Indigenous industry holds the key to our future economic prosperity. For building a world-class business from a regional base, this year's Emerging Entrepreneur of the Year is Alan's Group of Free Flow. In five short years, Free Flow's founder, Alan Scroop, has turned his online auction company into a runaway success and convinced the judging panel that yet another Kerryman deserves to collect the silverware this September. As a curryman, it's always great to get a trophy from a corkman. <laughs> but however, I accept this award on behalf of all the team from Free Flow. Everyone knows the effort and the, I suppose the um, motivation that we've put in in the last number of years. It's been fantastic. It's, I might be team captain, but absolutely we're, we're a team, to say the least. Um, my darling wife, Pierrette, you should be up here tonight accepting this with all the strength and support you've given me. My parents. And I would like to dedicate the award to my grandfather, Sean, who's not here tonight, but I'm absolutely honoured to have two people who are very close to me here, my two grannies, Nora Mylan and Noreen Scroop. Thank you very much.